Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 day trend. If the recent snow, frost, ice and fog has left you hankering after something a bit more festive in the run up to Christmas, well, the next 10 days weather forecast is going to thoroughly disappoint you and me, it has to be said, because uh, I'm not going to enjoy this type of weather either. So don't shoot the messenger, but the next 10 days involves a lot of low pressure, involves an awful lot of rain, and eventually it's going to turn much milder. At the moment, it's uh, Clash of the Titans, two heavyweights battling it out with the UK in the middle. Now we've got high pressure over Eastern Europe. That's been holding sway quite strongly. It forms as a result of very cold weather at this time of year on the continent. Now, sometimes it's strong enough to influence the UK's weather and in the winter that can bring us colder and drier conditions. Meanwhile, to the west, the jet stream, which more often than not brings us areas of low pressure, wind, rain and with the jet stream coming over mild air over the sea at this time of year, well, it brings milder air and it brings weather fronts which contain rainfall. But because that high pressure is blocking these weather fronts at the moment. They're coming in and they're nibbling away at the edges, but they're not quite crossing the country. And that means that, say, the first set of weather fronts that arrive on Thursday will just fizzle out as they come in through the from the west over the UK. But watch what happens with the next set of weather fronts by Friday. A bit more progress. That high is being pushed a bit further east. These weather fronts are making more progress over the UK. They're becoming more active as a result and they're crossing the country. And certainly by the weekend, you'll see these weather fronts are finally making it through the high pressure, holding much less influence over our weather. The jet stream starting to become more active and we're starting to see low pressure edge ever more closer. And so that, it looks like, will set the theme for the next 10 days. Less influence from this, the high pressure that brought us colder, drier weather at times during the last few days, the dense and freezing fog in places, more influence from these weather fronts, which will essentially bring us wind, rain and much milder air. We start things off later Wednesday with some heavy rain across parts of Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest. But overnight, as the first set of weather fronts weaken, as they run into the high pressure, well, they fizzle out and we're left with a cloudy picture on Thursday. A lot of low cloud, hill fog, bits and pieces of rain and drizzle and a grey day for many, but not a great deal of rainfall. Cold in the east, still a little bit milder further west. Next band of rain starts to arrive. And like I say, this weather front is going to make more progress across the country, clearing from the west to the east, a spell of rain overnight. And by the start of Friday, it's into eastern England. And because it's making more progress, because the high pressure is less influential, it's a more active weather front, so a wetter day to come across eastern Scotland and eastern England. In fact, the rain really piling up over the eastern part of the Cairngorms. Eastern Scotland has a rain warning in force, risk of 60 mils over some of the more exposed uh, hilltops and risk of 100 mils in some of the most exposed spots, so risk of flooding there. Strong winds, gales around northeast Scotland as well. A blustery day to come further south, with the southwest seeing some heavy downpours, but milder here with some sunshine away from the showers. Now let's run it forward after Friday, and you'll see that these weather fronts are still coming in from the west, and they're still slowing down and stalling. And that's not good news for the east because that means, again, by Saturday, a lot of low cloud and more outbreaks of rain to come. Again, uh, piling up there across the higher ground of eastern Scotland, certainly at first this weekend. But a gloomy day to come in the east. Brighter skies later. In the west, a brief ridge of high pressure arrives. Temperatures not far from average. So some sunshine by the end of the day in Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest and a frosty, perhaps foggy start here on Sunday before, well, the next weather system moves in. And this, again, ramps up a bit further following the last series of fronts. So it's more active feature and it's going to contain a spell of wet weather, really, for most of us on Sunday with a strengthening wind, gales for exposed parts of the UK during Sunday, an unsettled day for all of us. But by now we're losing the influence from that cold dry high and we're gaining the milder westerlies or southwesterlies. So you'll notice the difference in the southwest certainly. Temperatures much higher than average by this stage. Now looking ahead to the start of next week and the jet stream by this stage really taking control of our weather. And that means that we need to keep our eye on little features like this because if this 
little weather front phases in at just the right time with the jet stream, it could deepen into a really nasty feature for southern parts of the UK for the beginning of next week. Strong winds or even some damaging winds and some heavy rainfall. However, different computer models have different ideas on how this phases in with the jet stream. Some just run it as an area of rain across southern parts of the UK. Others have a much more developed low pressure. So that's something we'll be updating you about over the next few days. Either way, it's unsettled again as we start off next week. And really, that theme continues into next week. This table I've shown before on the 10-day trend, it's the forecast. And the days are on the top there for the next couple of weeks. But it's a forecast of whether high pressure or low pressure is more likely. High pressure... Um, shown there in red, low pressure shown in blue, and it's a summary of all the different computer model runs for the European model this is. And you can see strong blue colours there for the next seven days or so, showing that low pressure is very likely really for the next week. Now for the middle of next week onwards, earlier model runs, the latest one is on the top and then earlier model runs go below. Earlier model runs had high pressure a bit more likely, but that's been kicked down the road somewhat. And so for next week, it Looks like low pressure, really, and whether that then gets extended, well, we'll have to wait and see. But certainly this is how it looks very likely to shape up for next week. Low pressure to the west or the southwest of the UK, the jet stream coming in from the southwest, that high pressure no longer an influence. And that means for the UK's weather, well, it's going to be unsettled. Wind and rain at times, not all the time, there will be some brighter interludes, but it's certainly going to be much milder than average from next week with temperatures into the double figures for most of the country. So that's how it's looking for the next 10 days, but we'll keep you updated as we go through. Follow us on social media for all of the very latest. Bye-bye.